All right, and now we can go ahead and change some of the in the uh, settings here. Uh, I'll set this 25 and set this to uh, 15. That's all too refined. Uh, 20. Uh, let's go uh, 30. Okay. Um, maximum distance focus to apply. And that'll be fine. Let me just copy paste these ones around. We'll do three per side. Actually, I should probably make these brain lights uh, dynamic if they can be. So we can uh, attach them to the... track train. Alright. Uh, browse. Let's see, info. See, it can be dynamic. Valve probably also moved these around. Dynamic. All right, so now this will move up with that, and uh, I won't actually do anything with that just yet. Actually, we need to modify this a bit anyway. Um, this needs to come to the very end of it. There. And we can also uh, then take these and move them over here and rotate them. by 90, or rather 180. Alright. Now we'll select all this stuff. On both sides. And attach it, or rather, uh, tie it to a funk brush. Name it as uh, shelf or armory shelf. Parent it to the uh, train track here, or track train as well. <clears throat> and solid always. Apply. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to take all of this, as well as the floor here, 
and just move it up. And where it's going to be at uh, once it's raised. Alright, we can bring the other lights up on their own, I guess. I'll take this back down. Just so we can get the lights where they need to be. Up top. Hmm, that's interesting. In line there, not in line there. Probably the same issue down here. With these, yep. Yeah. Alright, so then these we will parent to this actually. Alright, so now uh, we need to do, let's see, where is our central point for this thing here? I guess it's this. Uh, what we need to do now is with this, let's create another uh, output, on pass output. Uh, select the lights, which there are many of, and turn on. And we'll wait. Uh, four seconds after it stopped to do that. On pass. Stop. Alright, so once this reaches the top here, that's kind of odd. Anyway, once this reaches the top, um, it'll pass on. It'll pass that uh, path node and stop. And then four seconds later, these lights will turn on. We um, need to fix this uh, texturing issue here. That's actually a little bit high. Hey, what is this thing here sticking here? Oh, never mind. There was another thing there. Weird. What was that for? Apparently nothing. Anyway, um, texturing.
I have no clue what that thing was. Might have been something I had, was working on uh, before. So I had to change my mind and do this. Um, Alright, so there you have it. We have created this table. Or rather, shelf. Doesn't really matter if these match the inside sections. Players, well, I guess the players could see them, but it still doesn't matter. No long how don't have a clue how long it take to make the outside parts of it. But then like for instance, um we put uh weapons into there. So weapon That's a longer uh thing here. Oh, what the hell? Oops. Oh, wait. Damn it, what's going on here? Okay, no, that is what I wanted. Never mind. Uh, let's see, side view. Hammer can be very annoying sometimes, though, too. So the back of this is there. Oops. There we go. Shotgun sitting there, ready for you to pick it up and kill some combine with. Uh, that's going to end this uh, video here. Um, I'm not going to show any of the stuff that I've done uh, on these videos. Well, I will show some of the stuff, but not everything. Um, but since I'm just getting into the mapping portion of the work, I haven't done anything besides this yet. Um, I'm going to skip that... Uh, for this uh, month. Thanks for watching the video though. Um, feel free to comment if you have any comments. And uh, we'd appreciate it if, you, if you'd subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next month.